identify your voice of thanksgiving this morning. Say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. The Bible says we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So let your mouth be filled with praise and we worship this morning and bless his holy name. It says the horn of our salvation, our shield and buckler. It says, I will call upon the no, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Pray, so shall I be saved from my enemies. So shall I be lifted up. Oh, Father, we just bless your holy name. We thank you. We come with a heart of gratitude because we know that you have done so much for us and we cannot even begin to tell it all. We thank you because you have done so much for us. You, we cannot even begin to tell it all. Father, we are grateful. Daddy, we are grateful. We just bless your holy name. We thank you because there is no one like you. We thank you because you are God from beginning to the end and there is no place for argument. Daddy, you are all... You are God all by yourself. Father, we just bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 6 says, In distress, I called upon the Lord, and I cried unto God, and he heard my voice out of the temple, and my cry came before his ears. Father, we just thank you, because what a friend we have in Jesus. All our cares on him to roll. Thank you, Father. The Bible says that if you are, if you are weary for heavy laden, Tell it to Jesus. That's what the song says. Tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that I know. Father, we thank you because what a friend we have in you. This Bible says that there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And Jesus is even closer than that friend. Father, we just thank you. We thank you because for the price that was laid before you, Father God Almighty, you despised the shame and you went to the cross and you did it all for us. Father, we just bless your holy name. We thank you. We lift you up because there is no one like you. Thank you for the, for the sacrifice, for your sacrifice upon the cross of Calvary. Father, we just bless your name. We thank you, Father. We glorify your holy day. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for the Bible says that there is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. Father, thank you. Even in my day-to-day -day job, in my workplace, thank you for how your spirit has been giving wisdom. Wisdom. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of the of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Father, we just thank you. We bless your holy name and we worship you, Father, even for bringing us together this morning. Father, it's not by our power, it's not by our might. The Bible says that it is not by our it is not by our power, it's not by our might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It says, if not for the Lord's mercies, the sons of Jacob, you would have been consumed. Father, we just thank you. We just worship you. We bless your holy name. We worship you, Father. We just glorify you. We just glorify you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are ancient of days. We thank you because you know, the Bible says that God knows our uprising and our down sitting. He knows our left from our right. The Bible says that the, the, the meek with the Lord guide in judgment. Father, we just bless you. We just worship you. We just thank you. Because the, of the promises that we have in you, they are, they are sure. They are sure. Every morning they are sure. Father, we just bless your name. We just bless your name. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's just begin to just bring ourselves before God. You know, we're in God's temple this morning. We're in your presence, oh God. I say, Father, I'm in your presence. Touch me now. I don't want to live here the same way I came. The Bible tells of this tells us the parable of the sower who went out to sow. It was the same seed that was sown. But the soil was different. Say, Father God Almighty, even as your word is going to be thrown on my heart today, even as your word is going to comfort through this GHS, through the, the size of scripture, everything, the message, Father God Almighty, open my heart, prep my heart. The Bible says that Jesus was not able to do a lot of miracles in his own country because of their unbelief. Say, Father God Almighty, prep my heart this morning to receive from you. Father, prep my heart this morning to receive from you. I don't know what you might have experienced coming here, the discouragement or anything, even the, the, the joy and everything, but Father, let my heart, Lord God Almighty, be where you want it to be. I want to be where you are. Do not pass me by, oh God. Do not pass me by, oh God. Let me be attentive. Let me be attentive. Do not pass me by. Like Jacob wrestled with the angel. Say, Father God Almighty, I know. I don't doubt your ability to bless me. But Lord God Almighty, keep my heart ready, Lord God Almighty, to receive from you. To receive from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prepare my heart, Lord God Almighty, to receive from you. Anything that, that is good that is in my heart, any unbelief, any anger, anything that is in me, Lord God Almighty, that is 
is contrary to your will, that is going to hinder what I want to get from you today. Father, take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Any bitterness, any sadness, anything, Father, take it away from us. I might think of discouragement, Father. The Bible says that there is joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy in the house of the Lord. Say, I was glad when they say, let us go into the house of the Lord because we are in our Bethel. And upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and there shall be salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, prepare our hearts. Prepare our hearts, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Father, prepare our hearts that we will get maximally from you, O God, today. That we will not just be hearers only, but will be doers of your word. The world will work, fruit will bring fruit of repentance in our hearts, O oh God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God Almighty, we bring our hearts before you, Holy Ghost, and we just pray, Lord God Almighty, that you prep our hearts and prepare it, Lord God Almighty, to receive from you and to receive maximally from you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray for the ministers that God is going to use today. The Bible says that he has made his, his, his ministers a flame of fire. I'm going to pray, Lord God Almighty, that the anointing for, to, for today, a fresh anointing today, he will give upon his ministers in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Even Paul asks for prayers. Even Paul asks for prayers. He says, pray for me that I'll be able to speak and declare the word of God with boldness. Let us pray that the ministers that God is going to, the vessels that God is going to use today, that they will minister life unto us. They will minister life unto us. That there will be oracles and, and, and there will be oracles of God. There will be oracles of God. That the utterances of the Lord will flow free through them, that the mighty hand of the Lord will be with them, the mighty hand of the Lord will be with them, that the Lord will be their shield and buckler, he will anoint their mouth, that they will do, God, God will use their mouth of clay and bless his people today, and bless his people today, that there will be no restriction, that the Lord will be with them, the Lord will speak through them, the Lord will reveal himself unto them, open unto them, realms of revelation to give unto, his, unto the Lord's people, in the name of Jesus, pray for them. Pray for the ministers, those that will minister in songs. We require that everything will be anointed. A fresh anointing is available, is available, is available. Father God Almighty, we just thank you. We thank you because we know that today we are going to be blessed. We thank you, Father. We, are, we just bless your holy name. We just thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. We just thank you. Thank you, Father, for the people that you are going to use today. The people that you are going to use today. We thank you because we know that you are going to use them to bless us mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let us just pray for this country that we live in. The Bible says that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because we should pray for Jerusalem. Because that is, that is where our peace comes from. So, and so we're going to lift up this country. This is our own Jerusalem. And say, Father, take control. Father, let your will be done as it in heaven as it is on earth. And Father, we just pray. We just lift up this country unto your able hands, O oh God. We just pray and ask, dear Lord, that you take absolute control. We pray for those in power, those in authority. We pray for them, O oh Lord God Almighty. And we say, let your mighty hand rest upon them. Protect them, Lord God Almighty. Let us have peace in this nation. Just open your mouth and just talk to him. Say, Father God Almighty, we just say, take, take control. The Bible says that when, when the wicked rule, it's the people that suffer. When the wicked rule, but when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. So, Father, we just bless your name. We just thank you. We worship you. We worship you, Lord God Almighty. And we just commit this nation into your able hands, O Lord. We commit the administration. We pray that, Lord God Almighty, that your counsel will stand in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The counsel of the Lord, that is what will stand. That the, those making policies, the lawmakers, everything... Because whatever they do affects us. Whatever they do affects us. And so we have the power to change situations and to control situations with our prayer. And so just open your mouth and just say, Father God Almighty, let your will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus. We lift up this country. Lift up the United States of America into your able hands. What a great nation, oh God. Thank you even for the privilege to be here in a, at, a, at a time like this. We just worship and we bless your holy name. We pray for this country that those that are leading, Lord God Almighty, they'll be sensitive to your word. That your counsel will stand. That your counsel will stand. That the actions they take, the policies they make, it will be all to glorify your holy name. 
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are here this morning. What a privilege it is to be here. At this moment, let's just lift up our hands and just pray for our families, our children, our relatives, anyone that the Lord lays upon their hand, upon your, upon your heart. Commit them into the hands of the Lord right now. Maybe you met someone in your workplace who is going through a tough situation and you were like, ah, I'll, I'll be praying for you. But because of the vicissitudes and the business of life, you forgot to pray. This is a time of intercession. Let's just lift up our voice and pray for them. Bring them before God. Intercede for them. Bring them before God. It may be your son, it may be your spouse, it may be your brother, your parents, anybody it is. And say, Father God Almighty, I bring them before you because we serve a wonder-working God, a God who specializes in situations that are impossible to man. The Bible says it may be impossible with man, but nothing is impossible with God. And Father, we just bring them before you. We bring our parents before you. We bring our needs before you. Whatever, we are, whatever you are trusting the Lord for, bring it before him right now. We are in his presence. 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 Say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Bring them before him right now. It may be your, your, your child, your spouse, anybody. Bring them, bring them before the Bring that situation before God and say, Father, intervene. It may be in your workplace. Just bring it before him and say, Father, 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 I lay it all at your feet. I lay it. Invite him into the situation. Think about it. Just invite him into the situation. You may have complained about it. You may have been worried about it. But have you invited the king of kings into the situation? Have you invited Jesus into the boat? Because no matter the storm that rages, as long as Jesus is there in the boat, their safety is assured. Safety is assured. Miracle is assured. Signs and wonders is assured. Invite Jesus into that situation right now. Invite him into it right now. And say, Father, we lift it up before you. We bring it before you, Lord God Almighty. Enlarge and show yourself mighty. He says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. As a result of that prayer, as a result of your prayer right now, and God is lifted up, that person will be drawn to God. That person will be drawn to God and his soul is saved. And the Bible says that it's the will of God that all men should be saved. And so, Father, we invite you into our situations. Into our situations, Father, Lord God Almighty, as our faces are so are our needs different. And so, Father, we just come all together. You say where two or three are gathered, you are here in their midst. You are there in their midst. And so, Father, we bring ourselves together. Not forsaking the assembly of brethren, but Father, we come together. We come together. And we just bring this into you. And we just, oh God Almighty, invite you into every situation. And we just pray you make yourself mighty. Show yourself powerfully. Oh, that man of Calvary. He wants to move. He wants to move in that situation. If you would just invite him and say, Father, take the stage. Take authority and let your name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's just lift up our, our regional overseer, our pastor, our father and the Lord here, Pastor Michael Dada. You know, he's so awesome. But let's just pray that God will continue to give him grace. That even as the, the ministry is demanding from him, that God will fill his tank with grace and mercy. Let us pray. Let us pray that God will continue to give him grace. God will continue to give him mercy. That God will continue to order his steps. God will continue to order his steps. The Bible says that I will give you pastors after your own heart. I will give you pastors, leaders, and shepherds after your own heart. And no doubt, no doubt, he, he is a father after our spiritual welfare. He's a father after our own heart. Let us say, Father, oh God Almighty, we just pray. And we pray that you give him grace. We pray for our leader our father father god almighty you give him grace give him strength and even as he travels as he go from place to place that the anointing will be fresh upon his head to come and to deliver and to bless the people that he will continue to be a battle axe in the hand of the lord he will be a sharp threshing tool in the mighty name of jesus and also commit all the pastors into the hands of the lord they need our prayers they need our prayers father continue to continue to strengthen them their feet will be like hind's feet their feet their feet will be iron and brass in in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will provide all their needs according to his riches. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will not lack any good thing. He will not lack any good thing. That the Lord will continue to strengthen him, to prosper him in all his ways. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift them up before you, Lord God Almighty. We just thank you. We just pray that you uphold them in grace and in mercy. In grace and in mercy, you continue to hold them. Because even like Apostle Paul said, Bible says that God, God told him that my grace is sufficient. When God says my grace is sufficient, what else is there to pray for? In your life, in my life, in the life of our pastors, what we need is grace. 
God, God told, because Paul was like, Lord, take away this tongue from my flesh. It's really affecting me. You know, he was crying and, and God told him, son, my grace is sufficient. For in your weakness, my strength is made manifest. I'm not going to pray. Father God Almighty, we pray for grace. We pray for grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. We pray for grace, Lord God Almighty, upon our leaders. We pray that you give them fresh grace to do your work, Lord God Almighty, to move them to the next level, to continue to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and as you are praying for them, also pray for yourself. Father, I need grace. I need grace. In my workplace, I need grace. In my spiritual life, I need grace. The grace to love you more. The grace to know you more. The grace to study my Bible. The grace to Lord God Almighty to test after you. The grace, Lord God Almighty, to seek you. The Bible says you will seek me and you find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Father God Almighty, the grace to search you. The grace to seek you. The grace to look for you. The grace, Lord God Almighty, to search for you. The grace, Lord God Almighty, to pray. The grace to worship. The grace, because on our own, we can do nothing. The Bible tells us that on your own, you can do nothing. In our own strength and in our own power, we cannot pray, we cannot seek God. But we need the help of the Holy Spirit that is freely given to each and every one of us. Father God Almighty, to seek you. And Father God Almighty, we just pray for grace. We pray for grace. We pray for a quickening of our lives leaders, of our pastors, of our oh Lord God Almighty, of ourselves, we pray you will quicken us, quicken us Lord God Almighty to call upon your name, to do your will and Lord God Almighty to glorify your holy name we just thank you even as we round up, let's just sing this song, we are grateful, oh Lord, we are grateful Lord we are grateful oh Lord, hallelujah Oh, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Oh, this is a personal moment. So express your gratitude to him. Hallelujah. We started with thanksgiving and praise. We are ending with thanksgiving and praise. Oh, hallelujah, we are grateful. Yes, we are grateful, Lord. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Grateful, oh Lord. Yes, Father, our spirit, our soul and body will bless your holy name this morning. You have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord. Oh, ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, Father, never change, never change of this. As old as you are, as old as you are, Daddy, you will never change, ancient of this. This. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change, never change. Ooh, as old as you are, Father, as old as you are, oh Lord, you will never change. Oh, more time ancient of is the king of kings the bible says in the beginning the god said let there be light he is the god who has been here since the beginning of time and that god is on your side that god says i have loved you with an everlasting love i have loved you with an everlasting love oh father we just thank you we thank you because who is man that we are mindful of him oh lord Father, we just bless your name. You will never change ancient of this. Of this. Father, we just glorify and we lift you up. 
We thank you because from the beginning of time, you have been on our side. Even when we dropped the ball in the Garden of Eden, Father, you didn't just leave us to our own conceits and to just perish away. But the Bible says that for God so loved the world, and that includes you and I, that he gave and he sent his only begotten son to, pre, to bring to us eternal life and provide us a hope of eternal life, to provide, to provide our relationship and to restore our relationship with God. And let's just exploit our relationship with God right now and just thank him and just bless him. Because, because of the work that Jesus Christ did for us on the cross of Calvary, we can approach him. We can approach him. The Bible says that let us come boldly to the throne of grace. To the throne of grace so that we can obtain mercy. Mercy is not pity. The Bible says I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. Mercy is not pity. Mercy is not pity at all. Mercy is a gift that we can, that we get from God only by his grace. I will show mercy upon my show mercy. Father, we just thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for mercy. It is of your mercy that we are not consumed. Think about all the things that you have that you didn't pray for. That was mercy. Think about all the times that situations caught you off guard, but you came out triumphant. You are standing here today only because God made a way and only because of his mercy. Father, we just thank you. Thank you. We approach you boldly this morning with our hearts and our hands full of gratitude. And we bless your holy name. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for an awesome day like this where we can come together as a family, as children. Our faces are different. Our ages are different. We are all unique individuals. O oh Lord God Almighty, every time we come before your feet, we are all your children. And we just bless you and we just thank you. Thank you for being an everlasting friend who has been with us through the ages. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that even as we start this service this morning, that your mighty presence will be here, that you will bless us beyond our widest imaginations and let your name be glorified. For those that are still in their way, hasten their steps and bring them here safely. And let no man go back the same way they came in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. stand on our feet as we begin the service by singing in number one. 